What is up guys, the Epic of Chris here, bringing you some Call of Duty Black Ops 2 gameplay here today. Uh, this is a quick 25 gun streak that I got on the map, Nuketown, Hardcore, Domination, or whatever you want to call it. Um, I'm using the Vector, and it's a diamond, I actually wanted to show my diamond camo for my sniper in the beginning of the gameplay. I was really proud of that, I got that recently. Um, I finally completed all the challenges for all the snipers and stuff, and I was really, really happy. I mean, that's kind of what I've been gri grinding for for the past, like, two months or so, when I actually gave a shit about <laughs> about camos and stuff. I thought it would be really cool to get the diamond camos for the snipers. I'm trying to get them now for the launchers. I just need the RPG. I need a triple kill with the freaking RPG. And that's frustrating as hell. I mean, I, I, don't, I don't know why they implemented that specific challenge. I don't know why they couldn't just do something cool like... Uh, I don't know, get someone off the B flag with RPG or something, I don't know, something other than that. I mean, it's really impossible to get a freaking triple kill with an RPG in this game. Uh, but nonetheless, hopefully you guys enjoy the gameplay. As I said, it's a quick 25 gun streak. I believe it's only like 3 minutes or so. Well, the gameplay is 3 minutes, so I'm just going to be talking for 3 minutes. Um, and yeah, it's, just, it's pretty quick, so I mean, I really enjoyed that. I mean, I got a brutal medal. I didn't get the nuclear, unfortunately. I was camping a little bit too much. This fucker, like, you got to watch the gameplay. I'm not going to... I'm actually watching the gameplay at the moment, but this fucker comes out of nowhere. I'm just camping in the, in their building, and that's what I'm doing the entire game. I'm just camping in their building, you know, sort of moving around, maneuvering my way around and stuff. And I really suggest you take notes on that because that's actually a really really good strategy when playing any when you're playing Newtown in general. I mean, hardcore or regular core. I think it's really really essential if you want to do well, if you want to you know spawn trap them in a kind of way. I really suggest doing what I'm doing. I'm just going around this entire building. I'm not really going back to my own spawn or going too far deep into their spawn. I'm just more or less maneuvering around their building and stuff. I'm going upstairs, I'm going downstairs, I'm going outside, I'm going on a little ledge there. And it's really a good strategy if you want to do well in Nuketown. If you want to get a lot of kills like I'm getting right now. And, um, and yeah, that's basically my advice for you. But what was I going to say before? Yeah, I was just camping in the building on the top stairs looking at both directions there's literally two ways someone well that, there's actually a third way but nobody else would even think about going in there i don't know where this guy was at but i was looking at both doorways i was looking at the one outside and the one inside leading to the stairs and this guy comes from the fucking right of me like it's so stupid i'm just looking directly on those stairs and then this guy comes out of nowhere it's completely bullshit but whatever it happens it happens so i really enjoy this this you know gameplay right here Hopefully you do as well, and that's really all my time. I really don't know what else to say. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the gameplay. If you did, leave a like rating, subscribe if you are new. Comment below, let me know what you thought of the video. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. My name is Epic of Chris, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace. Fuck, I keep saying it in the gateway. I did it in the last video. All right, peace.